Now let us start with the proof that Charles conjecture implies Sanas conjecture. First, we will state and prove a corollary to Charles conjecture. The corollary states that for x greater than zero, that piece of x denote the probability measure, the uniform probability distribution on the finite set of integers 1, 2, up to the floor of x. And let n be a random variable taking values in the same set following this distribution. This means this integer n of this random variable is drawn uniformly randomly from this set of integers from 1 through the 4 of x. Then, assuming the Charles connector for any m positive integer, any epsilon, and uh, any coefficients C1 through Cm that are bounded by 1. Here I should emphasize the following. Here Cis are allowed to depend on anything. In particular, it is allowed to depend on x or this random variable n or this positive number epsilon or positive integer m or anything. You will see why I emphasize this later in the proof. So assuming Charles conjecture and uh, for any such and such, we have the probability of this average this weighted average of Mobius function bounded away from zero by epsilon can be controlled by Some constant times the exponential of epsilon squared times m divided by c plus some error term. Some small quantity as x goes to infinity. And there's a dependence on m and epsilon. Where c is an absolute constant. And little o is a function of m epsilon x. such that its limit 
as x goes to infinity, is zero. And this convergence is furthermore is uniform in the choice of coefficients c1 through cm. So this is the full statement of this corollary to Charles conjecture. It basically provides a concentration inequality to illustrate the pseudo-randomness of Mobius transformation. It provides a realization of the pseudo-randomness of, of Mobius function in terms of a concentration inequality in probability. And now let's prove this. Now we're going to start the proof. There are two main ingredients in this proof. The first is the moment method. And second, is combinatorics. There will be some counting techniques in this proof. To begin with, let k be a large even integer to be optimized later. This k will serve as the exponent for the moment. Now by Chipsch's inequality, we have what we are going to do now is that we are going to lift the sum to higher powers. So this probability is less than or equal to what we are using here is simply probability of a random variable bounded away from zero by epsilon is less than or equal to its case moment divided by epsilon raised to the power k. This is the chip shapes inequality we are using here. Now Because this k is even, we can simply replace this absolute value sign by the normal bracket. Because k is even. And now we expand this. Just look at the, the sum raised to the power k. Expand this using the elementary combinatorics. This will give us Notice that those c's are all numbers bounded by 1, by our assumption, although they are allowed to, de to depend on many other things. We can use the triangular inequality to magnify this. This term will be less than or equal to And now, we're going to make a couple of observations on this. The first observation is that the number of summons in this sum is m raised to the power k. And the second observation is that each summons will be naively bounded by 1, because those mu's are functions with values in negative 1, 0, 1. 
What is non-trivial is our third observation. Now let us recall the statement of the Cholas conjecture. The Cholas conjecture states that with at least one of the AIs out, we will have this sum having an estimate little o of x. And now if we divide both sides by x, the left hand side will become an average. And this tells us, let me write down the conclusion first. I will explain it more carefully. This tells us each segment will be a little o of 1 as x goes to infinity. And there's a dependence on m. This means this is a function of x and m, and it will go to 0 as x goes to infinity. This holds as long as at least one of the indices i1 through ik occurs an odd number of times. If at least one of the indices i1 through ik occurs an odd number of times, we have this estimate for the summand. Now let me explain this observation more carefully. How does this follow from the Charles connector? By Charles connector, if we divide both sides by the floor of x, the largest integer less than or equal to x, then we get an estimate. is exponents it's estimated that this is a little o of 1 as x goes to infinity. This holds if we appropriately choose a1 through am. How do we choose a1 through am? We just examine 1 through m to see if they appear in i1 through ik. i1 through ik may not be distinct, as i1 may repeat three times. Then, we we'll just make the exponent correspond to i1. Say if i1 is 7, we we'll just make a7 to be 3 the number of repetitions of i1 in this product. So we set a1 through am based on the number of repetitions of i1 through ik in one through m. For those integers that are not appearing in i1 through ik, you simply put the corresponding a sub j's to be zero. And here's the subtlety. Since this mu may take the value 0, there may be a chance that there will be a 0 raised to the power 0. 
So we have to make a convention. This convention, 0 raised to the power 0, to be 1. This convention is common in algebra and combinatorics. In general, 0 raised to the power 0 is not defined. But in most cases, it is safe to make this convention in algebra combinatorics. We can justify this convention by just recalling something you have seen over and over again. If you look at a polynomial, and you evaluate at x equal to 0, what do you get? You get b0. It's constant term. Here we are assuming that 0 raised to the power 0 is 1. That is why this convention makes sense. And now, if you look at this sum, it's a properly chosen a1 through am so that this individual summand will represent this product. If this happens, then this average will be precisely this expectation, because n here is drawn uniformly randomly from 1 through x. The right hand side are the same. That is how we justify this observation. Hope this is clear to you.